digital romance TV. Hey folks, how are you? Michael Fiore, Nora Blake. Hello. We're from digitalromance.tv. Today we're talking about the uh, three ways to avoid being a booty call. Yep. For a guy, I think in this case, right? Is that what we're mostly doing here? I think so. I think so. Because well, know, for. Uh, Tips for a girl yeah. to not be a booty well, call most, for a most, guy. Well, most guys are like, but I would love to be a booty call. That'd be so cool, man. It'd be great. You get the text late at night. Uh, number one, actually, to avoid being a booty call with a guy is don't, don't be, be a booty call. Yeah, don't be available whenever yeah. he calls for sex. Like when he texts you late at night, because nobody calls anymore, right? But if he says, you up? That's what they always say, or you want to come over, or anything like that. Don't even bother answering. Yep. Late at night. You're if asleep. It, yeah. If it's eleven o'clock at night, you're either asleep or you're out doing something. Yep. Or somebody at that point. You just um, don't answer. Yeah, but basically, if you just don't fall into the trap, you won't fall into the trap at that point. <laughs> now, we're not saying that you shouldn't be having sex with people. That is your decision. Yes. You can have sex with anybody you want, but just know that when you establish a pattern with a guy like that, yeah. and being that that girl who is available at any time. Stop using your vagina to attract a man. And it also means that he's. He's just not going to be as attracted to you as a person. He's going to see you as somebody who he puts in the sex box as opposed to the relationship box <laughs> at that point. Because we have boxes. We Stop keep them in our putting houses. him in your sex box. Yeah. Um, number two is actually kind of related, but it's like basically uh, stop using sex as a distraction or thought, thinking that sex will make a man fall in love with you. Yeah. And I've seen this a lot. I even wrote a booklet about it called uh, Make Him Big to Be Your Boyfriend on Amazon. But a lot of women get really confused because they're like, well, I slept with him. Doesn't he want to date me now? Two different right. things. Yeah, I even had a woman, a friend of mine here in Seattle uh, years ago who asked me, hey, I was dating this guy, and then I, uh, we, we talked, and we weren't going to date anymore, and then he still slept with me after we broke up. Why would he do that? And she was legitimately confused. Right. Right? Because she was just like, well, why would he? But for him, it was like, well, we broke up. You said it was okay that we just had sex, and you're hot. I wanted to have sex at that point. Sex is still fun. Sex doesn't necessarily mean the same things to everybody, though. Yeah. Men, I mean, men, for men, it does tend to be a little bit less emotional at the beginning, particularly than women. For women, there's a lot more oxytocin released, which is a bonding chemical that goes off in our brains, a neurotransmitter, and women tend to put more, um, you know, a lot of women will find themselves having feelings for a guy that she, they slept men, with. Men, uh, men learn to love the women they like to fuck, and yeah. men, women learn to enjoy fucking the, the men they love. It's yes. But, but for, but a man is not going to fall in love with you because of sex. No, absolutely not. It's going, you know, I always say that um, sex doesn't change a guy's opinion of a girl, it enhances it. Yep. It reinforces it. If he already likes you, and you guys have great sex, he's going to like you more. If he just kind of thinks you're okay and you have great sex, he's going to think, well, the sex is great. Yep. There's not going to be anything else to it. Um, and number three is actually to date other people. And people say, I don't want to date other people. I'm not a slut, blah, blah, blah. That's not what it's about. Um, I don't mean you have to sleep with a lot of people or anything like that, but don't just like go full stop as soon as you meet somebody. I wrote a program called Online Allure a while ago about online dating, and there was a woman who got really mad at me because she's like, well, but I met a guy and I started talking to him, so I'm not talking to any other guys. <laughs> I'm like, you don't even know if this guy exists at this point. He, he could be, be a, yeah. he could be a Nigerian scammer or something like that. But the main thing is just like, you know, be a uh, be a be a Rolling Stone, be someone that's going forward with him or without him, and he has to make a choice about whether or not he's going to keep up with you or not. But if you seem like the kind of girl who's waiting around for him, that will A, give a guy a feeling of too much power that he doesn't really deserve, but it will also create a certain level of contempt because men don't want things that are too easily given to them. Yep. They just don't. So that's that. Um, if you have any ideas of how to keep a guy uh, from putting you in the booty call box <laughs> that he keeps up next to his bed, um, go ahead and leave it down below and then go to digitalromance.tv and uh, go watch more videos. Bye. If you've got a cell phone in your pocket or purse right now, then you've got everything you need to create incredible romance and passion with the man or woman in your life at the push of a button. Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash TRB to see Michael Fiore make an entire audience of women in the Rachel Ray show swoon and learn how to use tiny little text messages to have the relationship of your dreams.